Hello, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Backrooms Level 89, aka A Taste of Home. This is a very uncanny, very weird ice cream parlor with some very interesting effects and even more interesting lore. And it is the last level in the 80s range, which is pretty cool. So thank you for clicking on it. And without any more talking, let's get into the video, shall we? Level 89 of the Backrooms is the 90th level in the lore catalog, and it's been given a classification of a Class 1 survival difficulty for being safe and secure with a small entity count and some other weird features that I will discuss later. The level was originally discovered by a wanderer who was walking around the city part of level 11, and they walked so far into the city that they found this gateway. Now this gateway took this wanderer to a cherry tree grove, which upon further investigation led to this building, the ice cream parlor. The level takes the form of an ice cream parlor from the 1940s, one of those old classic ones you might have seen in pictures or something. The majority of the time when someone comes to this level, they will appear at the very front of the building's entrance, right by the front door. There's a store sign right above you that reads, A Taste of Home, established 1938, which that's the name of the level, obviously. And this entire ice cream parlor is located in the center of those cherry tree groves and flower fields. The outside of the parlor is pristine, and it has no paint chipping, no erosion, no anything like that. It looks brand new, which, you know, it says it was opened back in 1938. You'd think that a building that's been up for that long would look a little older, but for whatever reason, this level doesn't. The walls outside are this muted pinkish color, and the roof is a light beige color. Now, surrounding the building is a field of grass that is usually dotted with many, many types of flowers, ranging from roses to asters to white lilies and sunflowers. The smell on the outside of this building, and just in the general flower field area, is very strange. It's a mixture of scents that has a faint smell of smoke to it, as well as a sweet cupcake or donut smell, as well as a undertone of iron or blood smell, the source of which is unknown. Outside of that field that surrounds the parlor, there are more cherry trees, like at the entrance, and it's assumed that the trees repeat for an infinity but you really can't walk out inside of them because if you do walk far enough, you'll eventually just get sent right back to in front of the parlor. Anyways, that's what's on the outside of the parlor where it's not as interesting. Let's get inside and see what's up with it. Upon entering the parlor, you will immediately see the faceless cutouts of these ice cream scoopers. Now, these look like those things that you can take pictures with where you put your head through the opening and you smile and stuff. That's what these are here for. But looking past that, the inside of the parlor is also spotless. It is clean, it's immaculate, the walls are a little darker inside, and they have this bluish gray tint to them. On the walls by the doors of the parlor, there are posters that seem to depict fun war propaganda. Now, I have an entire video on the fun war, and I'll link it below in the description, but these posters here seem to be trying to recruit party poopers to join you know, the party pooper side. It's like old war propaganda, but for fun war stuff. Now, because of that, there is a theory that this level used to be kind of an outpost or a place as like a hideout or something for party poopers. Who knows? Looking around the rest of the shop, you'll see that it's very spacious. There are lots of room to sit, places to relax, there's velvet booths and seats and tables to sit at, and there's enough room for communities or a big number of people to stay here, which kind of adds to that party pooper theory. The front counter is in the very back wall of the store, and this is where all the ice cream is stored. This area is safe to enter and look around in, and the freezer where all the ice cream is stored is full of a variety of flavors of the ice cream itself. There's chocolate, there's vanilla, there's Rocky Road, there's Superman, there's cotton candy. Literally any single flavor you could think of is here. And all of it, allegedly, and as far as we know, is safe to consume. It is 100% safe. But I do want you to remember that I said earlier that the level smells irony and kind of like a blood smell on the outside. So we're not sure if that has anything to do with the ice cream or not. But just to play it safe, I wouldn't eat any, but that's just my opinion. Anywho, alongside the ice creams, there is an entire area for toppings and things like that. There are brownie bites and cookie doughs and sprinkles and all sorts of things that are available to put on the ice cream. And of course, all of it is allegedly good enough to eat. Now, the ice creams and the topping sections get refilled by the level on a weekly basis. So you never run out of it. If you want to just stay here for a long time, you can just eat ice cream forever, I guess. But besides that front counter area, the seating area, and the relaxing area, there's only one more zone that you really can explore here. It's called the employees only break room, and it's kind of in the back area behind the counter. 
On the door handle of this break room, there is a popped balloon that's hanging from the door handle. And it's thought that this room used to be used to kind of transport people during the fun war to this level. Maybe the party poopers used this level as some sort of outpost or some kind of hideout, who knows, but that's just the leading theory. No one has been able to open the door yet though, so we're not really sure it's behind it, it's just assumed based on the balloon that that's what that means. At the very, very back of the parlor through a small hallway, there is a back exit that leads directly to level 11, which if you remember, level 11 is how you get here too. And because level 11 is such a common place, lots of people come here to get ice cream. And this level itself is actually very popular among wanderers and in the lore because how could you go wrong with it? It's just infinite ice cream. Even though there is that smell of irony blood in the air, I mean, they still say it's safe to eat. I don't know though. I'm not gonna, I wouldn't do it. Anyways, despite the weird smells and the strange being of this thing existing in a flower field, people come here a lot. Now this level is a class one, like I mentioned at the beginning, but there actually is a small entity presence here. Every now and then, you might encounter a child faceling inside the parlor getting ice cream for themselves. Now these things seem to be under the level 11 effect, which kind of numbs them down, makes them less aggressive, and no one actually knows where they come from. But just as a general rule of thumb, do not approach these child facelings uh, while they're trying to get their ice cream, because if you engage them in combat or if you annoy them, they'll kind of revert back to their normal state of aggression and they'll attack you. And we all know that child facelings are much more aggressive than adult ones, so you should not do that. But besides facelings, there is no other entities. There's no smilers, there's no hounds, there's nothing. The only other thing that you could see here is other wanderers that are getting ice cream. The parlor is very popular, it's a very chill place to come to while journeying through the backroom's levels. You know, the calm interior, the soft buzzing of the freezers, the comfortable seats, the tasty ice cream, the calm outside with the fields and the flowers and cherry trees, it's all very melancholic. But there's also this very strange, creepy undertone to the entire ordeal. As I've said this whole video, why does it smell like metally blood smoke? Where does that come from? You can't smell it inside the ice cream parlor, only on the outside. And what's actually in the ice cream? Why is it so good? Why do so many people come back for it again? Why is there fun war propaganda on the wall? Why are, why are party poopers trying to recruit people to join them? Very strange, very interesting, lots of things we don't know. There are two outposts that live in the ice cream parlor full time. One is the Sweet Station and the other is Meg Base Cone Campers. And both of these kind of just vibe around. But the Sweet Stations group kind of guards that employee's only room to kind of keep people out from going in there. But to enter, like I said earlier, you can find the gateway deep inside level 11 that opens up to this cherry tree forest and then you can kind of walk through the cherry trees to this parlor. And if you want to exit, you can walk out the back door of the parlor to get sent back to level 11. Now, I love when backrooms levels are like this. It keeps it simple, it stays true to the original thing, the liminality, uh, yet it leaves that open-ended creepiness with the weird smells, the weird environment, the weird location, and the almost addictive nature of the ice cream. It makes you think, like, what is in the ice cream that makes people come back for it over and over again? Anyways, lots of good stuff on this level. I want to hear your theories on in the comments, and that is the last level in the 80s. So next video, we'll be getting into the 90s and beyond. Thank you for watching to the end. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. I would really appreciate it. Check the description below for my links to my Twitter, Instagram, third channel, uh, podcast channel, all that stuff. Lots of cool stuff coming out. I cannot, cannot thank you all enough for your support. Love and appreciate each and every one of you, all you do. I'm so thankful for your support and just you guys watching five years later or four and a half years later almost is just crazy. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to see what happens next. Lots of new stuff coming out. And uh, with that said, I'll just see you later. Bye.